Hi, so let, let's now talk about fractional slot concentrated windings. So, so what are they? So if we look at the, from a top down point of view, then if we look at the stator and uh, think of these as the stator teeth. Concentrated winding would be one that has the winding going around the stator teeth uh, like shown, and it would, you know, it would, it would go around multiple times, and then come out. So this is, these are these are <coughs> coils that are wrapped around the individual teeth. This is different to, compared to the distributed winding, where if you have the stator teeth. Uh, like so, then the, the winding would come out, go around, and then come back down across like that. This is where it's um, this is where it spans three slots. Um, so. So you can see there's quite a, there's a difference in how the winding is is um, is put together. You can clearly see that the, the having a distributed winding, uh, it's going to have um, a larger end uh, end turns. So if you have a short axial length, the concentrated winding could um, quite quite significantly cut down on the amount of uh, end winding. So there's there's a number of um, potential advantages and there's some disadvantages to having a fractional slot concentrated winding. Uh, so with a fractional <coughs> slot concentrated winding, uh, some of the uh, so some of these these advantages and disadvantages are, are still kind of uh, debated and it really depends on the application. So advantages and some people may somewhat disagree with all of these. Uh, so, can, using the uh, fractional slot concentrated winding, the you you can reduce uh, reduce reduction reduction of copper end winding region. Okay. You could you could also have a, a higher uh, fill factor in slots. Uh, having it concentrated allows you to uh, wrap the the winding more closely to the state of tooth. Um, the, the reduction of, of the copper end winding region uh, then could result in a reduction uh, in the the jaw loss because uh, of the shorter end in turns. Um, and uh, there's potential in the literature for um, for the operation over a greater Over a greater uh, torque speed range. I'll talk. I'll talk more about torque speed range in another lecture. And some people claim that um, the concentrated um, slot winding has lower manufacturing costs, but the distributed winding is. Uh, it's a highly automated and highly established technology, so it's still quite hard to beat, I think. Uh, claim lower cost in manufacturing. Um, the, the single layer 
the, the, I think a single layer concentrated winding, um, you, you, can, you, can, um, you can see that the, the winding is not overlapping with, with other phases. So if there was a fault in uh, one of the coils um, due to the insulation, for example, that um, gives you the ability to potentially uh, limit the, um, the problem. So, so, um, so the single, if, if smartly thought about, the single layer concentrated uh, winding has fault tolerant feature. There's no uh, no or little um, I'll put little little mutual inductance between phases it's negligible uh, however there are some disadvantages You don't see uh, fractional slot concentrated windings being used in induction machines, for example. Uh, the reason, so the reason is because we'll show in, um, we'll show a bit later that um, the the disadvantage is that the uh, having this concentrated winding results in a lot of um, harmonics being created. So large number of harmonics created. So you get uh, increased harmonic losses. Uh, and also um, in some applications like in some automotive applications having these, these uh, these larger um, end, end windings can actually be beneficial because, for example, in, in some of the, 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 the vehicles, they, they put a lot of current in through these, and so you want to cool them. You could um, spray cool the ends of the windings here, and um, that, that's actually beneficial for cooling it. If you didn't have this, it would be harder to cool the, the, uh, the windings. So. Um, perhaps somewhat counterintuitively, having some end windings could be beneficial for cooling purposes. So, so I would actually, so I've, I've put that um, reduction of copper end winding region, could be an advantage, but in some situations it could be considered a disadvantage. So I'm going to put it in both. So shorter uh, end turns makes cooling more difficult. Okay, uh, so I, ha I should make a note here about um, the definition as well. Note class classic definition of uh, the classic definition of a concentrated winding is a winding having one slot per pole per face. Thus, using this definition, a uh, distributed winding 
with one slot per pole per phase can be called concentrated. Concentrated winding. However, that's, um, that's rather confusing because um, if it's not you have it's not like the uh, the winding I just described with um, the the coil wrapped around one one pole then right so it, it does create some confusion but the tradition in the the modern literature um, it's it's typically defined as being a concentrated winding has been wrapped around one pole so that's what I'm going to say so we define. Uh, concentrated winding as a uh, winding concentrated around the teeth. Okay, uh, so the fractional slot concentrated winding it means that um, w what, we'll, what we'll end up with often is something that has a um, lower than one slot per pole per phase. For example we could have um, two, 2 over 5 or 2 over 7 slots per pole per phase. So let's, let's, see, um, let's see how we could, uh, you know, what that, what that means. How can you do that? How can you have less than one slot per pole per phase? Okay, I'm gonna. So we're gonna look at um, at, at three different. Uh, we're gonna look at th we're gonna look at three different windings and compare them in terms of the winding function uh, and um, and look at the harmonics. So let's. So let me just um, pull that up. So I'm going to pull this up. I'm going to drill this up on the uh, overhead. Okay. So in this in this handout here, I've got three different stators, and so we're going to look at three different um, winding arrangements that make um, four poles. Okay. So uh, option um, uh, option. A. Uh, we're going to have a look at having a uh, so in this in this one I'm going to um, this is so this is this has got six slots six slots and we we are going to um, put the windings. And so I'm going to draw up the windings, and then we'll, I'll, I'll talk about um, what they mean. Okay. So one option is that we could put um, a winding uh, with coils uh, across across here. So we could call this a plus and this a minus. Okay. And then on the opposite side, uh, we could have a a plus and an a minus. So, if you think about what that means, that that you know this is going in, this is coming out. Uh, so this will create a pole, and then this would create a pole. Okay, and so then and the, um, then it's going to go back through another tooth, and then um, and then. Then on this slot, in this slot, we could wrap another winding, and then this would correspond correspond to C minus and C plus, and then on this winding here, we put another one, B plus and and B minus like that, and then over here, uh, we have an additional winding, C plus and C minus. 
and then lastly here we have B plus and B minus like so okay so that's that's um, that's one um, that's one option and so you can see that the um, that there is a winding on each tooth um, but and they're not um, overlapping right the, the the B phase is not overlapping with the A phase so so each tooth is um, wound then um, so this is all tooth teeth are wound and then the the other option is uh, we could um, and then we could instead for example so you can see in this slot here that we've got A plus and C minus sharing the slot what about if we instead def um, use uh, an, an, another arrangement where we um, instead have this being all A plus this being A minus okay and then this one being uh, C minus and this one being C plus and then this one being B plus and B minus like that okay so so now now we so that the field will will um, uh, from this one will we'll come out and then it will go back through um, different um, poles so that that that's not it's not complete and entirely obvious that's going to create uh, four pole pairs but uh, four poles but let's um, we'll analyze this too now I've the way I've drawn this um, uh, I'm going to for the winding function I'm going to define um, it being positive going uh, in the negative direction it, it doesn't um, it doesn't really matter um, uh, but it 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 will just make the drawing easier when I draw the picture. Okay, so so this this is a plus and then this is a minus. So that this is this is centered at the at the middle of the tooth. And then the third third um, winding function is a more traditional one that we've already looked at. And uh, and so this is an we're going to have an overlapping um, twelve slot uh, design. So. Um, uh, which, which I actually prefer to be honest so this is um, this is a plus um, C minus uh, B plus you can see that okay a minus C plus B minus a plus C minus B plus A minus C plus and B minus like that. Okay, and so um, so for example, um, the um, uh, so that this would this this winding would come out and um, and then the end winding would ca could come across and then go down into here and then um, let's see this is B plus B plus comes out and then goes back around like this and then um, this is C plus and going around to C minus so it'll go around like that okay so so this this has this has 12 slots and it's a that, so this this is a overlapping winding. So with these we've got these three. Um, so this this one is this one is um, is is non overlapping. Um, and uh, and all the teeth all teeth wound and. Uh, 
and then this one is uh, also six slots and it's uh, it's also got non overlapping but it's alternative teeth wound alternative teeth are wound so uh, the first tooth is wound, second tooth is not, and so on. And then this, this, this one's a 12 slot. This is, you know, overlapping, uh, distributed, winding. So it it has 12 slots, um, four poles, three phases. So that that gives one slot per pole per face. Okay. Um, so let's let's uh, analyze these three using winding functions. So we. <coughs> So we're complain comparing the three windings. So three windings will be compared. So A was the six slot non overlapping winding. And they're all teeth wound. So in that case, we had six slots divided by four poles times three phases. So that gives half a slot per pole per phase. Another option is to be six slot. It had the non-overlapping winding and the alternative teeth wound. So that that also has half a slot per, pay, per pole per phase. And then option C is the 12 slot distributed winding which has uh, 12 over 4 poles times the three phases so that gives the one slot per pole per phase. Okay, so <coughs> let's let's see how this looks. So for option A, non-overlapping winding all wound. So if we start starting at the, um, the, the the zero angle then we have um, this being the turns function so this this is the this is a coil pitch W, and uh, so this this would be plus. Um, so I, again, I'm going in the negative angular direction. So just be, before W divided by two, before the um, zero angle goes up, turns function goes up, and then we'll go back down at um, W over two. And then um, at pi sorry. Oh yeah. So this is all teeth wound. Uh, and so um, at pi, the the winding r repeats. So then we have 
that this comes up here. Oops, that's supposed to be a rectangle. And so this would be pi minus w over 2 pi plus w over 2. And then keep going around. And we'll have another another one here and so this this point here would be 2 pi. Okay. Then to the um, the, the turns function, the, the winding function is the average of the turns function, uh, the, the turns function minus the average of the turns function. So the average of this turns function is going to be, uh, so we can just look at the rectangle, so it's going to be 2 times NW W over the, from 0 to 2 pi you can see there's basically two rectangles and so we have to divide by, by 2 pi so we get NWW divided by pi. So therefore um, the winding function is the turns function minus the average of the turns function. So we have um, the maximum of the uh, turns function is going to be NW minus NW W over pi, which you could write. So this is the maximum value. Right, the maximum is here in subscript W. So we got NW. 1 minus w over pi. Okay, and then the minimum in minimum that's going to be so 0 is the minimum here, and then we have to average minus the average minus in w, w over pi goes minus in w, w over pi. Right? And so with that. So we know the minimum and maximum, there's only two points, so we can plot this. So uh, let's take this, this point here, so now this comes up across, then it's going to go down a bit, across, and then up, across, down, like that. And I didn't didn't really do this justice. This let's move this along a little bit. So this um, th this is th this is uh, this this amount along this length along here is um, longer than the the width of the coil pitch. Uh, so, um, so this this would be lower. So this this point here, sorry, this would be uh, not 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 as negative as as um, this is positive. So this point here would be uh, minus in general minus n w w over pi, and this this point here. This positive is n w one minus w over pi. Like that. Okay. So you can see the um, you can see the the poles being created, the four poles. But uh, you know it's going to be there's going to be quite a lot of harmonics created because this that the magnitude up here is different to the magnitude down here. It's not even even. But we'll we'll look at that and see what happens. Okay. And so then, so let's now look at um, B, alternating teeth wound.
So it's still non-overlapping, but we have alternating teeth wound. Okay. So now in that case, we can again draw the terms function. So, and I've, I've like I said before, I defined the um, angle going the opposite direction. Um, counter, so it's not um, it's going in a clockwise direction. The uh, this this theta. So we have minus w over two, and this is in w. So this is a width of w, and then w over two, and then nothing happens um, until we get back to almost two pi, where we again have it going up. So this would be, this point would be 2 pi minus w over 2. Okay, this is 0. So that's the turns function. And so then the average of this turns function, that's going to be nw times w divided by 2 pi. So then the maximum value for this is going to be nw minus nw w divided by 2 pi. So we could write that as nw 1 minus w divided by 2 pi. And then in min, it's going to be um, you know zero. So we're going to subtract off the average. So we get minus in w w divided by two pi. Okay. So rem <coughs> subtracting the the average will give us the winding function. Mm, it doesn't look good. Uh, so we have this coming up, going across here, and then going all the way along here, and then coming back up. And so that's what it looks like. So this is this is the zero crossing. So this is this would be w over two here. And the maximum here is in w, 1 minus w over 2 pi. And then the minimum is, um, is minus in w, w over 2 pi. So now that, that really doesn't look like necessarily it's going to create a um, full pole, is it? But we'll, we'll analyze the harmonics and we'll see what we get out uh, for this and um, show that this could work. But you can clearly see there's going to be a lot of harmonics being created here. Okay, and then the third, the third design is the 12 slot distributed winding. And uh, we've looked at that before. So that's our comparator, comparison. So I want to use that as a comparison so we can look at the harmonics created by these other two. So we're having um, a uh, overlapping 12 slot. 12 slot overlapping winding. So in that case, the winding function um, goes from 0 to 90. And then at 180, comes back up and goes to 270 and comes back down like that. 
And so we can then, sub and then the average of this is NW divided by 2. So we then have a waveform that looks like this NW over 2 minus NW over 2. And so you can see the the four pole pairs being created there with this the, with the square wave. Okay, oh, so um, so we'll take a short break and then then I'll um, we'll look at the um, Fourier series for these.